Hello, my name is Cindy Madalucci, and you're watching The Pulse, where we get the 411 and all the latest and greatest things to do in this amazing city, San Diego. From the newest bars and restaurants, to the chicest boutiques, to the gyms and the trainers that are getting the people of this city buff 365 days a year, to the place you want to go to get your spa on. I'm exploring it all for you, and of course, having fun along the way. So come with me while we put our finger on the pulse of San Diego. On today's episode, it's all about music and marriage. We start out in studio with the gorgeous Courtney Six, wife of Nikki Six from Motley Crue, and the do-it-yourself expert known as the how-to girl. Courtney shows us several do-it-yourself projects incorporating a floral theme. Then it's off to every bride-to-be's dream shop, El Bridal Boutique, located in Little Italy, where we meet owner Crystal Tian and show you the new trends in bridal couture. We end our show with a special in-studio acoustic performance from local rock band Gunner Gunner. Now it's time for me to get my craft on with the how-to girl, Courtney Six. Check out how much fun we had together. I'm here with the gorgeous Courtney Six, how-to girl, do-it-yourself expert. How are you? I'm great, Cindy. Thanks for having me. And I'm so excited to be on your show. I'm so excited to have you today. First of all, I'm feeling crafty, which I'm not. We're going to get your craft on today. This is amazing. Well, tell us a little bit about your background. You have such a great story. I mean, you were a model at 17 traveling Europe. Mm -hmm. And then from there, you went to work for Paramount Pictures. And then now you're a do-it-yourself expert. Yeah, you know, I started out modeling at 16, 17, and I was really fortunate that I got to travel. Even when I started out on my own, when I finally moved out and I was 18, I had really expensive taste and I couldn't afford anything that I wanted. And so I thought, well, I can't go to Ralph Lauren and buy these curtains that I want or these pillows because they're $500 each. So I'm gonna go to the fabric district downtown and I'm just gonna get a cheap little sewing machine at Joann's and whip them up. And that's kind of how I started rolling up my sleeves and getting creative. Well, and those of you that don't know, she's married to the gorgeous Nikki Six from Motley Crue. What a gorgeous couple. Thank you. So I have to ask you, do you guys do do-it-yourself projects at home? Do we do it ourselves? Um, <laughs> he's not like helping me make flower crowns or anything. <laughs> I can't say that he's super into doing it himself, but it's funny in our house because if there's something that needs to be framed or hung, you know, he's like, hey, remember that pink toolkit I bought you for Christmas? <laughs> so you do it. Go pull it out and do it, you know? You're and the I go, handy that's woman okay, the I'm the how-to girl. Well, and I love that you make it affordable. I think that's amazing. So walk us through what you have here today. I cannot okay. wait. I'm so excited I'm so to excited. show you. Okay, so behind us, if you haven't seen, if, I don't know if you can read it, but it says How To Girl. It's really simple. I love this idea for birthday parties, bridal showers, you know, a girl's luncheon, anything you have coming up. And it's super simple. It's just a piece of plywood from Home Depot. I've covered it in AstroTurf and which is available there. It's really inexpensive with a staple gun. And then these letters were cut out of their insole foam board, which you can buy huge sheets that are eight feet by four feet for $12. So it was one sheet for all of them. And oh I just gosh. stenciled out the letters with the Sharpie, used an X-Acto knife, cut them out, spray painted them pink, hammered them on, and then cut the stems off of flowers, hot glued them on. And you can literally customize any event that you're doing. Keeping with the floral theme, I thought flowers aren't just for signs and entertaining, they could be for fashion too. And flower crowns are so big right now, all the festivals, yeah. everybody's like wearing flower crowns. Yes, and I was just at Coachella and Stagecoach and they were selling these babies like hotcakes. So I want to try this on you and see how cute it oh, looks. Put it on for the queen. Oh. Oh, it's perfect with your hair, too. Oh, I love it. It looks so beautiful. I can you do, like, one of to, those dances? Can I go to Tahiti now? Yeah, or Hawaii, I guess. Or Hawaii. We can just hula. And it looks like it takes a long time. It took maybe 10 minutes. So this one's really, really quick. You buy some coiled wire, um, green, obviously, so it blends in with the flowers. At Michael's Arts and Crafts, this is $7 for the whole roll. So what I've done is just basically made a braid out of the wire. After you have it braided, you just kind of spread out the wire a little so it gives you room to put the flowers in. Carnations are really great to work with because they take up a lot of space okay. and they're really inexpensive. But the thing is, they have a long stem, so to say. So you kind of have to cut that in half because this will be too wide. It'll and be out to here. And you want it to sort of fit into the Exactly. Like you, you need a flat, nice, even base to glue on. And then using your hot glue gun, you get a lot on there, so that's important. 
And then you just hold it for five, 10 seconds. Okay, oh gosh. so we have one flower on. Now let's do um, a rose. So once again, just cutting off the stem. So already, I mean, that's starting to look cute. So it's easy to do. It's especially fun to do with your girlfriends or with your kids. Every girl, especially in Southern California, needs a good pair of jean shorts. Have to have them. I love dressing up different outfits, but I only like doing it with inexpensive pieces because if you screw it up, you're not out a ton of money. Um, or, you know, old jeans that you can just cut up. So these I got at Forever 21, which is my go-to place for everything DIY. Forever 21 and Michaels, like, I live there. And you never feel guilty when you buy something yeah, there. these were 20, I mean, $19. We just took some cute fabric from Joann's. It's just a pretty floral silk and sewed them on the back pockets. And this probably took 10 minutes to sew. It's really easy. And by hand, usually? By hand. Okay, perfect. Yes, yeah, so you don't have to have good point. No sewing good machine Good point. You don't have to have a sewing machine. You just a I don't know how to use a sewing machine. Yeah, so, so exactly. And I do, but I'm not great at it. <laughs> I can sew in a straight line and that's pretty much it. So to do these, what you want to do is start out with just a piece of paper. So this is just construction paper, but newspaper works great. Anything, anything you have laying around. Just cut it in a square and pin it onto your pocket using little sewing pins. And then just using a pen, you're gonna find, you're gonna fold up the paper to find where the outside of your pocket is, right? Where the seam is. So you just fold it till you feel that that's nice and straight underneath. And then using your pen, just make a line and you do the same on each side. So you do that around the whole thing and then you have your pattern. And then when you go to cut it, you want to make sure you leave about a half inch on the outside. So when you go to sew it, you can fold it under, if oh, that makes perfect. sense. So, so after you have your fabric cut out and when you're cutting your fabric, you want to fold it in half, right? And then put your pattern on it, pin it in, cut it out, and then you have two identical pieces. You are the Martha Stewart for the new generation. <laughs> Thank you. I love this. It's really so easy. So anyways, once you get it pinned in, then you just go around. It's not supposed to look perfect. You know, it's supposed to have a bohemian kind of hippie vibe. Well, and these, we have to talk about these. The shoes. Oh my God, gorgeous. The and shoes. I love the bling on there. So I know, I knew you would. This? $3 sandals. And these little flower crystals were on a necklace at Michael's Arts and Crafts. I just unhooked them and then hot glued them. So all in all, this was, what, under $15 for these shoes? Take this little floral crystal and this little hot glue gun, gonna, good luck I'm with it. I'm gonna tell you, I'm a, little, I'm a little dangerous with a glue gun. That's perfect, That's yeah. That's better. And then just put it in here, like try to match. Match this Match up. that one up. And that's it. That's it. It's so easy. Even I can do this. Look at that. Isn't that cute? That is so cute. And these are really fun to do for a bachelorette party. Oh, yeah. Um, and people spend a lot on those gifts. So if you could yeah. like, make them, everybody could get together and make yeah. them. Oh, no, that that's would be so fun. So tell us, everybody, where to find you so they can stay on top of what you're doing and where you're yes. going to be. You can go to How to Girl, how with the number two girl.com um, for all my daily posts and tutorials and YouTube if you just search how to girl and then if you go to iHeartRadio and search how to girl you get my a little daily dose of how to girl that you can listen to in your car on your smartphone or on your computer well thank you so much have a great one we'll see you next time for more information on Courtney Six and how to keep up with all of her projects, you can go to howtogirl.com. When we come back, it's off to L Bridal Boutique. Stay tuned. Welcome back to The Pulse. Now it's off to every bride-to-be's fantasy land, El Bridal Boutique, which I have to admit made even me want to be a bride.
Hi, I'm Cindy Madalucci with The Pulse of San Diego. We're here at El Bridal Boutique in Little Italy. I'm with the fabulous Christelle Teen. How are you? Doing well, how are you? So glad to be in here. This is like every girl's Disneyland or playground. Yeah, dream come true. It's amazing. Well, you're very sought after. I know for seven years you've got planning experience in yes. the bridal industry. Mm -hmm. Talk to us about that and how you got involved in this. Yeah, so I also own couture events and I did wedding planning for seven years and I absolutely love it. It is a passion, something that I really enjoy doing, but my favorite part was going dress shopping with the brides. And so I figured I love fashion and I love weddings. Why not get into bridal? So here we are. When you put this place together, it's so unique here. Yeah. Talk to us about what a bride-to-be can expect when she comes in here. Yeah, when she comes in, we do an appointment for about an hour and a half and she gets all the attention and all the time she can come in and try on the gowns and feel the fabrics and it's really fun. We style you from head to toe. Well, that's what I was gonna say. You guys are very unique. I mean, there's other bridal places out there, but mm -hmm. you start from the beginning to the end, from head to toe. Yes. Talk to us about the vendors, everything that you're doing here. Yeah, definitely. So we start with getting ready robes and then we have the, um, the wedding gowns, obviously, and then we have lingerie for the wedding night and onto the honeymoon. And then we're also a one-stop shop upstairs. We have um, a photographer, Garrett Richardson Photography, Anthology Films, Videography, and Posh Papery, who does custom invitations. So we call ourselves the Lofty Wedding Collection. You can get everything all in one stop. Now, I'm a bride-to-be. I've got an engagement party. You can help me. We got you covered, no problem. <sighs> We have this fun little lace shift dress. We carry all kinds of little white dresses. This is gorgeous this and is lace fun. is so big right so now. So in right now. Now if you like color, we also have lace in color. Blush little my romper. favorite color. Yes, isn't that so fun? And I love that you have the pockets in here too. Yeah, it's perfect for the engagement party, perfect for rehearsal dinner. And you're shopping for these pieces on your own. You actually pick these pieces. Yes, I hand pick each of the pieces, curate all of our collection, so it's really fun. Well then we also have some items like shoes. Yes. These are perfect for something blue. You have to have something blue on your wedding day. Why not let it be the shoe? And we've got the bling, which we love. Let's talk wedding trends. What are you seeing right now and, and what designers can you show us? Definitely. So lace is huge right now. These are some of our um, top selling gowns, these lace dresses. This is a Nisa net and um, this lace is all, this is Chantilly lace. It's just stunning. Oh my um, gosh. Yeah. And then it has the scalloped eyelash lace edge. So very special, very unique. This is more of a sheath dress. Goes straight down, but fitted. Beautiful. Oh my god, look at the back. Yeah, <gasps> stunning. This is gorgeous. That's so pretty. And then we also have a more of a modern style look. This with um, a belt is so beautiful. So let's talk designers. Yes. You've got some amazing designers in here. We do, yes. And we have, um, we have Amsala out of New York. We have Leanne Marshall also out of New York. She was a Project Runway winner. And um, then we have Karen Willis Holmes, and she was out of Australia. Is, is her look more sequins, would you sequins, say? Sequins, she has sequins, she has these, the lace overlay. This is something I haven't seen anywhere else before um, with this slip, and then you choose your own overlay so you can kind of change up the look throughout the night. Oh, wow. So, so instead really of two different. dresses, you start with one and then mix and match. Yep, mix and match or take it off and just wear the underneath. How a lot fabulous. of girls are just wearing the slip. Yeah. That is amazing. Really fun. And you are one of the only companies in San Diego that carry some of these yes. gowns. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we, um, Amsala and Leanne Marshall, we have agreements with and we're the only ones in San Diego that carry them. Yeah. Well, how do you stay on top of the trends too? Are you going to a lot of shows? Yes. So we go to the New York Bridal Fashion Week and um, go and touch and feel the fabrics and get to see all the gowns, see all the dresses. So it's really fun. Well, I'm gonna try some on. I'm really excited. Are you gonna help me get into some yes, gorgeous gowns? Yes, let's play. Yes, let's do definitely. It. Yay, this is so gorgeous. Tell me about so, this designer. This is Leanne Marshall. She was a Project Runway winner. She hand dyes all of her lace, so this lace is all hand dyed and beautiful. And rose gold is all the rage right now. Ugh. So we're trying on a rose gold belt with the dress. Oh, I love this. Isn't that pretty? Goes really well together. Yeah. Amazing. Oh my God, Christelle, this is gorgeous. It's beautiful. Ah, another look, a different look. Yes, yeah, so this is much more modern, clean line look. And then we would accent it with a belt. And who this makes one. this dress? This is Amsala out of New York. And she, her designs are just always so beautiful. 
And it's interesting how it looks on the hanger and then when you put it on, it looks totally different. Yes, once you get it on, it is like it hugs all the curves in all the right places. Love that. And then we would add, a lot of girls love the lace, so Ooh. just in case. And we you can, can mix and match a little bit of lace, a little bit of modern. Mm -hmm. <gasps> so tell everyone how to find out, you know, how to book an appointment with you yes. and come down here. You can find us at lbridalboutique.com and just find our contact page and give us a shout. And there's event information where you guys are going to be, what's happening, everything yes. there. So this is the dress. So you're saying yes to the dress? I'm saying yes to the dress. Oh, let's celebrate. For more information on Crystal Tian and L Bridal Boutique, you can go to lbridalboutique.com. Don't go anywhere. When we come back, it's time for the Pulse on the Scene. Now it's time for our Pulse on the Scene segment, where we take you inside the best events in San Diego. From the philanthropic to the star-studded red carpets, we give you an exclusive sneak peek of these fabulous events. On today's episode, we take you inside the VIP grand opening of Urbana Rental Flats, the coolest apartment flats to open in the East Village. The vibe is cool, edgy, and chic, and the view of Petco Park is phenomenal. Here is an exclusive sneak peek just for you. I'm here at Urbana Living in East Village. I'm here with Crystal Poggi, Urbana's community director. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you, Cindy. What's so special about Urbana? Honestly, our lifestyle here is so unique. We're a boutique style community. We're so small. We're only 96 um, rental flats here. And so the sense of community here is just really unique in downtown environment. So we're really, really proud of just the fact that we're so social and we get people to know each other and they want to be here because they want to be in East Village and they also want to be a part of Urbana as well. East Village really is kind of reflected in Urbana in so many ways. We've reached out, we have a members only for our residents that is a connection to the East Village community where we get um, special treatments and experiences with the different restaurants and vendors that are around us. And then also we've brought in the East Village into our community as well. So we've partnered with Molotov Gallery, who's an art gallery that is all East Village local network artists. And so they're featured throughout the floors of um, you know the different uh, rental flats. We opened February 18th, so it's just incredible. So we've been leasing really quickly. I mean, people want to be here. I mean, you walk through the community spaces and it's just, it's so vibrant, it's so alive, and you can totally feel East Village in every square inch of it, which is, it's like bursting with lifestyle. So I'm excited about the spaces. I know you have a lot of common spaces, man cave, vitamin lounge. Let's talk about this. Tell us a little bit about it. It's okay. our game room, but I totally feel like it's a man cave with the four TVs, you know, always playing sports center and we have shuffleboard and we have foosball and a big gaming table. And then it, you go walk out from that and you kind of like picture like the ladies having wine around the fire pit in the unwind courtyard. And then everybody gets to play on vitamin D lounge. Check us out online and um, urbanalivingsd.com. And we have an interactive site plan that they can go on and view every single rental flat that's available. We love it. Well, we can't wait. Thank you so much for having us here tonight. For more information on Urbana and how to rent here, you can go to urbanalivingsd.com. When we return, we bring you an awesome acoustic performance from Gunner Gunner. Stay tuned. Gunner Gunner is a local rock band formed by Josh Blevins and Kyle Wright. Both attended La Jolla High School along with guitarist Christian Borgia. We sit down with them to get the scoop on their story and their future plans for the band. I'm here with the awesome rock band from San Diego, Gunner Gunner. How are you guys? Great. 
Awesome. Well, thank you. Thanks for having us. Thank you for having us. It's so good to have you guys here. I love your story. Tell us a little bit about how you formed the band. Christian was in a band in high school that um, I really liked. They were called Absence, and I always uh, respected and appreciated Christian's music, and Kyle and I would uh, jam from time to time. One thing after another happened, and we actually started gaining some progress and writing some of our own material, and I was like, hey, like, why don't we call Christian? You know, I've always, and it just happened to be that he was in a perfect situation at the time to want to pick up music again, like, very seriously. Um, and well, your dad used to play like Van Halen in the car, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So. I mean, we all, uh, as a group, um, pretty much love all you know the old rock and roll and stuff. But we're actually really fortunate because you know Brian and and Dave here are, are also jazz trained musicians, which really helps in the writing process and stuff like that. But we've been a band for almost two years now. Uh, it'll be two years in October. And we have just really tried to keep the ball rolling, uh, working hard every single day. And we're really fortunate that all of us have a mutual respect for each other and we all understand that this is a business and there's things that need to be said and need to be done. Well, let's talk about labels. I know right now you're not signed and it's kind of something on purpose, which I think is very smart. I mean, when you're talking about like signing with an indie labeler, what do you guys see yourselves doing in the future? The music industry is at a, is at a point where it's like, we'll sign you, we'll put this money into you, but you need to sell 100,000 records. And mm -hmm. it's like, well, realistically right now, we're not at that point. I mean, literally right now, we package the CDs, make you know all the artwork, all of that stuff ourselves. So, so you have creative yeah. control, which oh, is yeah, kind of right. nice. Exactly. Bands like us who are quote unquote fresh, record labels look at that and say, well, if we're gonna sign you, we want all of it. You know, So we don't want to give that up because we want to play rock and roll. And you know, I think, a huge advantage of ours is that we play music that's true to our hearts and that's why people like it because when we're on stage we're up there and you can clearly see that like this is what we love this is us telling stories with either my voice their guitar bass drums all that kind of stuff exactly. it's like this is our story and it's real and i think people can feel that that's why you go to a show you know so. well and you guys have had such great you know acts that you've been performing with lita ford you guys did south by southwest i mean you've done so much what are you guys doing in the future what's next for you guys Realistically, it's just touring, going out and playing, you know, as many different cities and many different states as we can, trying to be able to hit down, you know, South America and New Mexico and stuff like that. So you guys released your debut album in March of 2014, Lock and Load. So, and then you guys released another album in, in Halloween. So you guys have two albums out. You can find us at facebook.com slash Gunner Gunner Band. Uh, we also have a website, gunnergunner.com. Um, if you want instant access to our music, we're online, Spotify, Pandora, iTunes, you, we have a YouTube channel. Um, we try to make our music as accessible to everybody as possible. Well, I love you guys. I think you're very Alice in Chains inspired. You can tell they were one of your influences. Um, and I also think you kind of remind me of the cult a little bit too. That's Absolutely awesome. love it. <laughs> so you guys are going to treat us to a song today. What are you guys going to play for us today? We're going to play a song called Sold My Soul. Not a soul to care, ain't got no one around I sold my soul and what left I had to sell Now the rest of my days are spent in a living hell I had all the fame, the money and drugs But with a hollow heart I will never find love Now I'm coasting through my final days And my soul to the devil I must repay Sold my soul to the devil, baby. Ooh, oh. Satan comes, he's here to take me. Ooh, oh. I sold my soul to the devil, baby. Ooh, oh. Promise me you won't forget me. And 
So the story carries on this way Be a faithful man or pay the price to play You dive too deep, lost in a world of sin Open up your heart and let sorrow breathe in I fought the biggest, the baddest, the worst But for my revenge, I'll pay with my soul first Now I'll walk forever down an endless road Head down dark all around to pay my I sold my soul to the devil, baby Ooh, oh. Satan comes, he's here to take me Ooh, oh. I sold my soul to the devil, baby Ooh, oh. Promise me you won't forget me I sold my soul. I sold. I sold my soul. I sold. I sold my soul to the devil, baby. Yes, Satan comes, he's here to take me. Sold my soul to the devil, baby. Promise me you won't forget me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For more information and tour dates for Gunner Gunner, you can go to gunnergunner.com. That's going to do it for today's episode. We'll see you next time when we put our finger on the pulse of San Diego.